Okay, here's question 14, which is a brilliant question that's a lot easier or a lot more difficult than maybe 12 and 13 because they gave you the equations. But it's when we're asked to actually create an equation. So the question reads, the percent of elementary students who chose hockey as their favorite physical activity is 14%. This percent of students is 2% more than four times that as many who chose skiing. So before I get anywhere in this thing here, I know that this picture is true. The hockey people far outweigh the skiing people as their favorite sport because hockey is four times more a little bit over four times more as amount of skiing so that's our current situation our goal is to somehow get it to be an equation because right now it's a non-equation it doesn't equal each other so the hockey and the skiing somehow have to be equal so the first thing we're going to do is define our variable so that's our situation so the first part actually helps us out and it says what s is so the first thing in all of our story problems is going to be s define our variable it's the number of students or the percent of students it's actually not the number of students it's the percent of students that chose skiing okay now hockey we already know how many actually chose hockey what percent 14 percent now remember in our equation we're going to somehow manipulate this s variable to equal the hockey but since we already know the hockey we can change that to be 14 percent okay we're going to change that now remember i want a lot more people like hockey than skiing so what if i double skiing does that make it balanced no if i triple it does that make it balanced no because if you read it here this percentage right here is according to the instructions two percent more than four times the percent who chose skiing i think if it comes out with my highlighter there we go two percent more than four times the percent who chose skiing how do i represent four times the amount that chose skiing what am i going to do to my s variable multiply it by four and that's a coefficients job right to multiply so we're going to put four s now this is still two percent more isn't it do you agree this is still two percent more so how do i make that balanced if this is two percent more than four times the number of people who go skiing i have to add two more on this side right this is two so once i write that now they're balanced because now the 14 percent that chose hockey four times the number that chose skiing this is still two percent more so in order to keep it balanced and make everything happy in the universe, I have to add 2% over there. And now I have an equation that I can solve to figure out how many people chose skiing. So once we've created that, which is the most complicated part of the entire thing, I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. I'm going to get 4s equals 12. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 4 to figure out that s is equal to 3. And once I've solved that, my sentence can then therefore be, therefore, 3% of students chose skiing. Okay, that's the complicated part about it, but it makes sense once you see it, right? You start off with this idea, and if I were you, what I would try and do every time is see if I can make this thing here, make your balance, and, and try and make that balance equal on both sides. And the way to do that is by following the uh, story problem and being able to balance both sides accordingly.